Omaha has a plan to protect people from dying on the road. Well, for years we've told you about Vision Zero. It is a data-driven plan to reduce traffic deaths and injuries to zero. KETV News Watch 7's Alex McClune is live at City Hall with the first steps. Hey, Alex. Hey, Bill. Hey, Julie. It has been a long road for Vision Zero over the past six years. Tonight, City Council approved an actionable plan that will focus on speed, users, and street designs. A data-driven plan to eliminate all traffic deaths in Omaha by 2045 as officials and advocates work together to ease the nerves on city streets. For several years, traffic deaths and serious crash injuries have increased in Omaha at an alarming rate. 261 people died on Omaha streets between 2011 to 2020. The plan acts as a roadmap to improve every part of the city outlining 117 projects and more than 350 improvements. Such as expanding data gathering on crashes, which will provide a more accurate snapshot of the actual problems on our roads. The plan also sets out to address vulnerable pedestrians and bicyclists. Supporting this Vision Zero plan today seems an obvious first step in the right direction. Finding funds will pave the way for hundreds of improvements like roundabouts, which reduced severe crashes by 60% at 42nd and Q streets. And in Blackstone, crosswalk infrastructure is expected to decrease crashes by up to 50%. Social science shows that these inequalities across many cities, including Omaha, are not spontaneous. Action plan data says Native Americans are nearly six times as likely to be killed or seriously injured in a crash the black population almost twice as likely. The city now setting out to solve problems on the streets with an approved plan. You can expect more changes like speed limits and street conversions. There's a whole lot more to this plan. We have a link to that document in this story at KETV.com. Live at City Hall, Alex McClune, KETV Newswatch 7.